Mwuzisha changamoto za kiuchumi zinazoshuhudiwa katika mataifa mengi barani Afrika Mizozo na vita katika nchi za ngambo Aisa alitoa wito kwa mataifa ya naozozana kutia kikomo mizozo hii ili mataifa mengine kurejelea hali yake ya kawaida ya kiuchumi Rais alisema haya ikiluuni kufuatia kuwa siri kwa rais wa Romania Klaus Yonhanize Ambaye atakuwa hapa nchini kwa takriban siku tatu Victor Kadhumbe anatukujulia paru anjaletu na taalifa hii Akizungumza katika kikao na wanahabari ikuluni jijini Nairobi, Rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya Daktari William Ruto amesema kwamba changamoto zinazokumba uchumi nchini na kote barani Afrika zinatokana na vita na mizozo inayoshuhudiwa katika nchi za ngambo, akitaja mfano wa vita vya Russia na Ukraine. The war in Ukraine has created a very dire situation in the East Africa and in the whole region of Africa because three things have happened. Number one, commodity prices have escalated because of the war. Whether you're talking about fertilizer, whether you're talking about grains, and as a result of the war, we have a serious situation of escalating prices of food items and that has resulted in higher costs of living alisema haya wakati wa kutia sahihi mikataba ya makubaliano na serikali ya Romania ikiongozwa na rais Klaus Vana Johannes ambaye yuko nchini Kenya kwa ziara ya kiserikali ya siku tatu to set off the process of actualizing our common agenda in these areas we also witnessed just now the signing of four memorandum of understanding environment protection and climate change cooperation on sanitary veterinary and food safety agricultural research and cooperation and diplomatic institute and the foreign service academy of kenya i am confident that the implementation of this mous will escalate the relations into an effective partnership in areas of focus and create conditions for Kenya and Romania to expand the scope of collaboration to cover even more sectors in the now and near future. Rais Ruto anadai kwamba vita hivi vina mchango mkubwa katika kupanda bei kwa bidhaa na hivyo basi gharama ya juu ya maisha katika kanda nzima ya Afrika. Akielezea kwa kina kuhusu athari za mizozo hiyo alizilaumu serikali kutofautiana na kuibua vita huku akisema kwa sasa serikali nyingi barani hazina budi kufanya juhudi kudumisha wananchi na uchumi wao kwani hali ndivyo sivyo with very detrimental effects on populations on people especially those that are vulnerable and as a result it has led to a second thing that we are now spending more money in supporting communities supporting um, the agricultural sector we're investing more money in subsidizing fertilizer for food production fertilizer that is already very high in in costs and that is why as a continent we believe in a peaceful resolution of these issues Aitha ametoa wito kwa mataifa yanayozozana kupunguza mizozo yao kwa haraka kwani inaadhiri ulimwengu mzima. We believe in the charter of the UN that respects the territorial integrity of countries and that believes that aggression against any country globally is aggression against all countries. We are looking forward to an early and speedy resolution of the conflict in Ukraine as we do in Gaza and as we do in the rest of the conflicts that we have in our own continent. Nikiripotia nyumbani mwa vipaji na talanta runinga ya GTN jina langu ni Victor Gadumbi